Hello there, it's Simone. I'm here to share my March Currently Inked pens with you today. Again, as with February, I decided to only ink only ink eight pens. I carried over two and uh, inked up some newer pens, some really new pens, a new nib, a nib that I haven't used in quite a while. And I picked my inks in another video that you can actually watch. Um, it's going to be linked in the cards above. But if you're not into the whole theorizing about which inks go with what and what I want to move on and carry on, then here's a quick overview. I picked four from my sample box. Um, then I looked at all the pens and inks that I still had inked from February, decided to move on to that left. So this is four plus two is six that left two that I was able to pick from my ink bottles. And since I had just recently filmed my um, eight pen questions video, which is also online and I shared these very first three ink bottles that I purchased. Um, after I gotten back into the hobby and I thought, why haven't I used these in forever? This gave me the opportunity to ink pens with these two inks as well. So that's what the colors are. And um, I am going to, this was my February currently inked. I'm going to, um, provide writing samples here on this Rhodia notepad. It's an A5 notebook, 160 pages, 80 GSM Rhodia paper lined. I really like this and it's a really good uh, way for me to look back very easily at what pens I had inked every month. To write my title, I'm using my Twisby Mini with a reverse architect nib by um, ground by Kirk Spear. So March currently and I know that I said in my last currently inked video that I probably take quite a while to swap out the inks but for some reason, I really felt drawn to just move on and try something else. And so I decided to give in. There is nobody who gives me, um, who, who sets arbitrary rules besides me. And so I can decide that it's time to break them. The first pen that I have inked is my, a new acquisition. It's my Sailor Pro Gear. Too Hot Habanero. This was a special edition in March 2021. And I purchased it uh, secondhand with a music nib. I did quite a bit of research since I filmed that first impressions video. And if I am holding my pen like this, I have found it to write quite smoothly and well. Um, doesn't give me as many hard starts. I'm proving myself wrong here right now, but I am actually really interested in anyone who is um, using music nibs on how they write. Diamond Ancient. Um, because I would love to understand these nibs more. This is definitely an experiment for me. Um, is way out of my comfort zone. Well, actually not so much the nib width. I really like how this writes. I just, the, my understanding of this nib is just, um, what I know about fountain pens doesn't reach this far. So I cannot troubleshoot by myself. Oh, I meant to look at this under a loop, but maybe we can actually even from here. I want to see if the tines are misaligned maybe or if there is baby's bottom. Uh, the ink that is in here is Diamine Ancient Copper and well see okay maybe I need to hold it higher up so 
sailor gear too hot habanero with a music nib it totally fits into the lines it's a little bit tough writing on grid if i use two boxes of grid it works really well but if i <laughs> try to squeeze it into uh, one box it's not really working um, so if i try to write with it like this it has a lot of skips and hard starts if i try to write like this and maybe hold it at a tiny bit higher angle than bef then i would usually hold my pens it works quite well this was i think or i feel like until i find that sweet spot and i can hit it every time that i grab it and start writing um then I will have these hard starts when I give a writing sample like this because I actually I have to finagle a little bit to figure out how how exactly am I holding this uh, I had a journal entry yesterday or so when and after I tilted it to the left like I showed you right here uh, it worked really well for the whole entry and so I think what you just saw here is not the norm I did watch a video by SBRE Brown. He just recently brought out a uh, about music nips video. And there he also linked a writing sample with a sailor music nip that I watched. And I feel like that video, I'm going to link both of them in the description box down below. Um, see, it seems to be, or at least he held his pen when he did the writing sample. Not like this, but more like this. So. This is probably the right way to hold it and write with it. Oh, enough said. I'm doing a really great job here. This is the Esterbrook SD in Honeycomb. This and this one are by far my favorite colors of SDs. And I think I'm saturated. I'm actually really debating whether I should sell my sea glass because I just don't like it as much as these two. So, Esterbrook SD Honeycomb with the Techo nib. And it's weird. So, maybe it's the ink. Uh, I inked those, all of them, all of the pens that I had available to ink. I inked those um, like four or five days ago. This is not satisfying like right off the bat this doesn't feel satisfying <laughs> so the ink that i have in here and this might be the reason why this feel is wrong is ferris wheel press steeped umber and either i have this swatch completely wrong like saved in my head as a much darker more saturated ink or this ink is just too dry for this nib um but this is so washed out i don't it doesn't bleh. i'm not really sure if i'm going to keep using this but i'm going to show it to you i'm going to definitely do one journal entry and see how i like it and if it's not working i'm just gonna cancel it um my experience with ferris wheel press inks is not the best um, and i am actually considering going through my ink down box and just taking out all of the ferris wheel press inks because i feel like i'm wasting my time with them the techo nib um, in use feels like a smoothed out architect nib sd honeycomb which i like but i'm not sure it's you know i'm using it to its full potential and i actually wouldn't really know how i would use this to its full potential i am very satisfied with the way it writes so there's no complaints there i just i just feel like 
this nib is probably has so much more potential that I'm not using, but I really like the way this feels on the page. This one is a carryover. I shared this last month as well. Um, let's, let's use this. I just love how this writes. I, I love everything about this, um, this nib now that I'm more familiar with it. This is the, let's try if it's pilot, parallel, Opus 88, mashup, crossover. It is uh, the pink demonstrator, and this is a 4.5 radius. These are purchasable from John Neal Books. The ink, oh, I'm usually writing the ink on top. The ink that I have in here is Diamine Fortunes. Ooh, ooh. What? Okay, so I was holding it. Fortunes Gold. Um, this nib plus the rest of the Pilot Parallel pen is $19.90 on their site. And I think I mentioned it last time when I received this, this nib pen, this nib. Um, it was super scratchy. It didn't write well at all out of the box. And I felt that is, even though it's only $19.90, uh, that is still an oversight on their side. I don't feel like I want to support them with more purchases. I do have a 6.0 millimeter that I would like to, to grind myself at some point, but with a puppy in the house, this is a someday maybe later, someday maybe list. Um, if you're following the bullet journal method, that's one of those that maybe I want to do it. Maybe I like the thought of doing it more than actually pursuing it, but that's on my someday maybe, someday maybe list. This is a new acquisition as well. I purchased this secondhand from another YouTuber. It was really affordable. And so I decided to take the, the plunge. Some of my friends have spoken very highly of this pen. This is the Lamy Studio in Glacier. Um, I purchased it with a 1.1 stub nib. I have swapped it out to a different nib. Um, and I have found that the coded nibs from Lamy tend to write consistently better for me than the regular silver steel nibs. I don't know why, but this is just how that works. I had originally put a silver uh, nib on here because I thought it would look good, but it just didn't write as well as this, so I swapped it out. Um, so this is a fine black coated nib. Um, in my video, where first impressions video, I said this one didn't post but if you just push hard enough, it does. And it actually posts really securely. Um, I don't know if I wanted to post it, but in my big hands, it's still weighted okay. So it's not back heavy. As you can see, I'm not holding the pen. It's not falling, tipping back. That is impressive to me. I'm, I'm on a Lamy kick at the moment. Lamy and Sailor are the pens that I seem to be focusing on this, this year. Maybe the Waterman Kareen. <laughs> Uh, you know that I, if you watched my um, wish list video, then you know that. But yeah, I am very impressed by this pen so far. Um, I haven't used it much since I inked it. I haven't, oh, I think I put did one journal entry. Uh, I cannot grab it far down here, but that's not normally where I hold my pens. If I hold it right here at this uh, intersection, it doesn't feel like it's slipping. I did also purchase the rubberized grip section so I can swap it out if I want to. Um, but so far it feels okay. Um, but it, it definitely is slippery, but not as slippery as I had expected. This is another Ferris wheel press ink. Um, I'm not sure if the 
someone po commented on my first impressions video of this pen that their ink darkens up really fast. That tells me that their the cap is not sealing well and that there might be issues, especially when uh, summer comes around here. I live in the high desert, so this could be an issue then. Right now it's not, but it seems a little bit darker than it was when I inked it four days ago. So I will need to keep an eye out for, for that. This is Ferris Wheel Press, Spruce County Post. I can't write and talk at the same time, it seems. And then this is Lamy Studio. And even though I really like the broader nibs at the moment, I do also like finer lines as well. I'm all over the place. Somebody said, I think it's from the Goulet pen, show, pen cast, the nib chameleon. I can appreciate all nib sizes. There's no discrimination here. I thought I would be discriminat discriminatory, but I'm not. This is my wall town. Uh, what's model with the Sebastian blank from turned Penco. This is my only hand turned pen at the moment. Uh, and I'm actually, that's why I'm, I'm not normally someone who really likes these swirly pens. And I've been thinking that if I want to support hand turned pen makers, um, then maybe I need to go and look for pen makers that use blanks that are not swirly. Um, and that's where my thoughts are going right now. I'm thinking of maybe um, selling the Sea Glass, the Estabrook SD in Sea Glass to fund another hand turned pen. I do know of a pen maker and I saw a blank that they had. It's very actually very similar to this. Um, and so maybe he still has that material and could make me one of his pens. But this is one of my favorite pens in terms of comfortability. I love this grip section. It's, uh, my pen rests perfectly. This pen sits nicely in the crook of my, my hand. I am really excited about this pen. Every time I use it, I wonder why I have, don't have it permanently inked. And the ink that is in here is Waterman. So Serenity, not Serenity, Inspired Blue, Inspired Blue. And I did buy a bottle of this ink. Pen is Walltown Watts. in uh, another fine and if I'm comparing these two fines and how this pen feels in my hand then definitely this one is more comfortable than this one. I did ink up my uh, Pelican M800 again. I said it in my January review that I haven't really gotten to know this pen well enough yet. I just had it inked once and so this would be a really good opportunity. I had an ink that I thought might work well in here and so I inked it up. I do think that it's a good pen for this ink. I don't know that this ink brings out the um, makes the pen shine. You know, the pen helps make the ink shine, but I don't think this uh, supports the amazing qualities of this pen. The ink is Sailor, Manio, Fuji, and it's a beautiful chromo shading light purple. The pen is Pelican M800. A green demonstrator, green demo with a fine nib. Oh, I have a lot of fines right now. There's three in a row. Um, because I am currently on a broader nib kick, 
I might actually think that I would enjoy the, the medium nib as well. I was too afraid to purchase the medium nib because I had heard so many things about uh, how gushy, how wet, how broad the European nibs are. But I don't necessarily think that this uh, nib is super, super um, broad for a fine nib. Like, yeah, it's a little broader, broader than these two fine nibs, but these are also European, but so, yeah, I don't know. I, my, in my opinion, or what I had heard is that Pelican nibs are even broader than other European Western nibs like the Lamy and the, and the Yovo, but here I don't, I don't see that. Okay, my birthday pen, so second inking for this pen. Scribo feel in Mosto with a medium 18 karat gold nib and an ebonite feet. And I inked this with an ink that I had forgotten how amazing it is. Look at this. Oh my goodness, why have I not used this more recently? And this again makes me think that maybe I should just stop the whole experiment and just rotate through my bottles more. Ah, ink, sailor, manio, akebi. This ink I purchased maybe in May of 2021, and I haven't really used it since. I inked my pens maybe once with it, and I, I feel like I haven't done justice to this ink bottle at all. What an amazing ink, Scribo. And to have it in this awesome pen makes it just so much better. Can you see the shading? And I think this ink has sheen as well. It's not as visible on Rhodia paper, but wow, ugh. I don't even care that these colors don't work. I mean, I don't care about this usually, but you know, Oh my goodness, this is good. Last pen I have inked, uh, the Estabrook Esty in Scarlet. I, I feel like, you know, this is re-inked with a different ink, with a different nib, but I'm using it again. <sighs> Maybe it's time to get rid of some more pens. I just sold two pens this morning and I just cleaned them earlier today. So that's why they are still so, there's so much condensation in here. It's not the, the pen's fault. Um, I just was so um, impatient to ink them all up. So this is a red ink. And this nib is a new nib that I, was able to acquire after I shared my wishlist video from my friend Lorelei. She didn't like it, and so she sold it to me for an ink swap that I yet have yet put together at the time of filming. I hope when this airs, she it's at least on the way. The ink that is in here is Colorverse. Marsh, Mars attack. I want to say Martian, but that's not true. Mars attack. And the pen is the Snot Ester Brook Esty in Scarlet with a broad sig nib. Uh, last month I used the medium sig nib, sig medium, medium sig. Let's talk in the comments if it's sig medium or medium sig, which I find actually really fine. And so I thought I might actually might like this, and I do. It's awesome. I cannot wait to write with this. I. I feel like this works really well with the pen. Not that I need it to work with it, you know. It's just cool if it happens sometimes. And yeah, so these are the pens that I'm using in the month of March. I'm really excited for it. 
Of course, I'm not really using this much. I use this to write hello, such and such. Um, maybe if guess what or so, that's what I use this pen for. Um, this is just a fun pen to have with a fun ink for occasionally. I don't really mind. I'm currently not writing with my pens as much that I would need another workhorse pen in this lineup. And I think with eight pens and just one not workhorse pen, I th yeah, there's no shimmer inks in this lineup besides the fun pen. So that's a, a, a first in a while, which I'm not mad about. I'm not necessarily always too drawn to the shimmer inks. So I appreciate that I don't have to do a lot of maintenance for those pen, pens and inks. This might be a thing that I swap out quickly. Um, yeah, what do you think of my pens and my inks? I am so excited to be using all of those. I'm so excited to write with them, use them in my journal, use them for letters. And I would love to hear from you what you think is my, will be my favorite pen for the month. I actually already know. <laughs> Let's see if you guess correctly. I don't think anything can top this uh, pen and ink combination, but we will see when I use have used them all and I come back with my March inked review sometime in April. I cannot believe it's March. What the heck? Where's time going? See you soon. Bye.